from humble beginnings to meteoric rise and a poignant departure the story of made mint encapsulates the highs and lows of the vtuber experience back in july 2020 a charming ghost maid named mint phantom also commonly called made mint entered the vtuber scene her playful demeanor love for anime and idol culture and follow. dedication to her full-time haunting job with plenty of free time to streaming quickly garner her a dedicated following but Mint wasn't satisfied with just being a popular indie. She aimed higher. Her hard work and creative endeavors started to bear fruit throughout 2021. In January, she celebrated her six-month anniversary with a Aww. milestone of 12,000 subscribers. Her perseverance is further demonstrated by the highly anticipated cover of Bustin by Neil Cicieriga, a project that took months of preparation before its release in March. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see the nice. That same month, Mint unveiled her updated French made inspired model, showcasing her commitment to growth and exciting her fans. Yet, in a twist that shocked her community, Mint announced her upcoming retirement. Thank you for everything. <laughs> she went so to Niji Sanji, right? Short, it's been one of the happiest and most fun moments of my afterlife. I might be wrong. But like I also reached so many of my goals. I got to ten thousand. Yeah, she did. Okay. YouTube and Twitter. Now she said we showed you. I think. I even got to collab with Pikami. <laughs> How do I fly? Oh no. How am I supposed to fly? Wait. Oh. Oh, 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 oh my God. She's indie now? Okay. Oh okay. I'm She's back to being indie in that case. Okay. Yeah, she just did a lot of uh, oh, you your collaborations, um, and I guess. I'll be in heaven, so. But I'll be around. And, um. Thank you for. A fun, fun time. Despite this, her fan base rallied, leading her to reach 15,000 subscribers. In a bittersweet farewell, her April 3rd graduation stream concluded with the song Bustin, signifying a full circle moment in her journey. Mint left the independent scene, having gained a loyal audience of 17,000 YouTube subscribers and 13,000 Twitch followers. During her time as an Decent indie, amount. she often expressed the desire to join a large company such as Niji Sanji. I want to join Niji Sanji because I want to... Because Niji Sanji has so many great VTubers too, you know? I want to Aww. get into Niji Sanji Ian and really help bring them to the West. But little did she know, her biggest oh, dream Lord. was about to become a reality. Fast forward to April 2021 and Made Mint's dream materialized. Reborn as Pomu Rainpuff, she joined the groundbreaking Lazulite trio within Niji Sanji EN. Her signature oh, big PP energy and infectious enthusiasm captivated audiences worldwide. Alongside her Lazulite companions Elira Pandora and Finana Ryugu, Pomu's rapid success birthed a devoted fanbase the ever cheering Pomodachi. And speaking of showing your support, if you've been enjoying this journey with me, there's a fantastic way to do just that. I've launched a limited edition uh, yo? merch line packed That's with cute. awesome gear. We're talking t shirts, hoodies, keychains, stickers, and goddamn, a super hot poster. Uh, yo? If you decide to go with the bundle uh, items, get an extra 15% discount on your whole order. To do What's so, me? simply add a clothing item to your cart and you will be prompted to get the bundle. Select your sizes that was voila. me and they also have this charming mint phantom keychain and you'll get an exclusive 15 oh that's adorable if you already have a rima even star keychain in your cart this epic merch is only available for a short amount of time on otakubon.com so snag yours before they're gone and i'll leave the link in the description below while you're here hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for even more vtuber content and for those who crave even more exclusive content Check out my Patreon for more monthly uploads and awesome rewards. 
Every bit of your support helps me to keep creating these high quality videos month after month. Now, without further ado, let's go back to the main content. From the moment her signature, I'm Pomu. I am Pomu. I'm 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 Pomu. I am Pomu. I'm Pomu. Okay. I'm Pomu. Echo through the virtual world, oh, Lord. Of became a force of unbridled positivity. Stand aside. Yeah, yeah, ready. Stand aside, everyone. Stand aside. <laughs> okay. Ready? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm ready. ready. <laughs> Not only was she a pioneer of the first female English generation of VTubers from Niji Sanji, figuratively and literally as she was the very first member to debut, but her infectious enthusiasm was contagious and beyond her energetic personality, she also became a source of hilarious insight oh, jokes and Oh, that's so well done! Lore. The catchphrase, I'm Pomu, evolved into a playful obsession with Pomufication. Oh my god. The idea is that she was turned everyone into many versions of Damn. herself. How are you, Pomo? Hi, I'm Pomo. I'm good. Also, how can I become as Pomo too? I have been suffering from a disease called non-Pomoism. Symptoms include not being Pomo, being Damn. someone other than Pomo, and Pomo not being me. Whoa. This, the cure is to become Pomo. How do I do this? Sadly, not Pomo. There's a... There's... There's something that's not a cure. But it is treatment. Uh -huh, the treatment uh -huh, is uh -huh. to become pomodachi. In Yo. that regard, you are somewhat a pomo. If you, because of the word, pomodachi has the word pomo. Pomo. The name pomo is in. I am pomodachi. pomo. This blossomed into a hilarious saga with intricate characters like Pomura Inpa. With the ribbon gone, I become pomra. Ah. I'm Pomra. What welcome, the fuck? Welcome to my stream. The resistant leader and the Pomsky. Speak the most important language, and you know what that is? That is the language that seduced your mom last <laughs> night. Got him. Her artist alter ego. <laughs> Viewers could often influence the narrative through interactive streams, contributing to the wild and wonderful world she created. Quirky details and absurd humor became her trademarks, whether she was talking about her <laughs> fictional company. Any scam. Um, we're kind of in competition with a uh, um, Miss uh, Finance Ryugu, but that's okay. Right now we're doing pretty well. Bye, bye, bye. Sell, sell, sell. Yep, yep, we yep. We can handle your stonks. Um, here at Stocks Contract Auction Market. Or accidentally misspelling Stunks Niji going Sanji. Up. Nimi Sanji. embraced the chaos wholeheartedly. Her confusion over time zones even spawned the legendary Time Glove, a fictional solution to all her scheduling problems. Uh, like an L in the sky. And you okay. When the sun is halfway, and it's like a chart. So you go, when the sun is um, halfway between my index finger and mm -hmm. my thumb. Okay. That's how you tell time. What if it's cloudy? Whoa. Unlucky. Fans adored her love for rivalries, <laughs> especially her childhood nemesis, Rival Kun. How is it that every bit of deep Pomu lore is better than the last? Was this about the guy who my Osana Najimi? <laughs> that I hate my Osana Najimi, my antagonist, my rival? <sighs> My rival. Her questionable family vacation stories. Who could forget the sand curse? Yeah, so my family is cursed. <clears throat> Yay! Took a family to the or took a family took a vacation to the desert, and we were on a tour of like. Is my antagonist? American, like mm. location, and they were like, "Whatever you do, don't touch the rock with the with I'm the sure. paintings on it, and don't touch don't touch the sand." And guess what? My mom did. Touch the sand. Touches the sand. The reason why I'm telling the story, why it's related to the horses, is because on the same vacation, on the same vacation, I developed this rare, some rare issue with my eye. My, my fairy mama took me to so many doctors. They were like, we don't know what's wrong with her. We don't know what's wrong with her. And I was, I was gonna go blind, basically. Jesus. Was it ligma? Yeah, it was, it was <laughs> an, an extreme case of ligma. And her bound 
this of course it was for everything from made cafes to metal gear dude solid. i love make cafes but her creativity extended beyond inside jokes Pomo's marathon stream where she sung God Knows for over 9 hours demonstrated both her vocal talents and Holy her shit. resilience. I love that song. <sighs> her Minecraft streams with Elira Pandora often evolved into complex storylines showcasing her natural storytelling ability and penchant for the dramatic. From drawing streams to outlandish creative challenges, Pomo never sheed away from experimentation. Pomo's rise was also meteoric, and she quickly smashed through several milestones, but even amidst challenges like necessary surgery and visa complications that prevented mm. her from joining the Niji Fest 2022, oh, she man. refused. To be slowed down. Her dedication shown through her ambitious Lazulite anniversary project, the Weather Balloon Project, where she sent acrylic stands of the group to the stratosphere, a testament to her boundless creativity and love for her fellow Niji Sanji members. Pomo's 3D debut was also a highly anticipated event, Ooh. the realization of a long-held dream for both herself and her dedicated fans. The announcement itself generated a wave of excitement <laughs> within the community. On January 27th, the wait finally ended. Pomo entered a new dimension, her trademark energy oh! amplified by the expressiveness of her 3D model. The highlight of the stream was the debut of her original song, Fairy Akibarse. This song would end up being immortalized in a full-fledged music video in 2024. Oh my god, I can't with the animation looking so well, man. To cherish forever. Pomo's impact extended far beyond content creation. She envisioned a future where VTubers from different agencies could collaborate freely. Her unwavering belief in fostering connections between communities <laughs> played a pivotal role in the groundbreaking collaboration with Whole Life's Takanashi Kiara in early 2023, dubbed the Romeo and Juliet of VTubing. No, I mean, that's actually how they call this collab. However, the road to this historic moment wasn't without its obstacle, as Kiara herself revealed on stream. I like talked to my manager and I was just like, if there's any way to have this collab happen now that I hit 500k. Not that that was like a thing stopping it or anything like, so don't think that. Because it's a milestone and I wanted this collab to be a milestone as well. Speaking okay. Of Pomo, so we're doing the collab. Actually, we would have done it earlier, but um... As you may know, she's on like a vacation right now. I honestly could not wait, but it gave me some time to prepare some things. Okay. We all fought really hard for this. Like everyone in EN. It was a group effort. Initial attempts at interagency collaboration faced resistance. Yet, thanks to the relentless efforts of FOMU, Kiara, and other forward thinking VTubers, walls began to crumble, paving the way for a more unified VTuber landscape. However, in a move that stunned the community, FOMU announced her graduation. There it is, from that's Sanji what we've been waiting for. 2024. I don't Naturally, know why she graduated from Niji Sanji. Ran rampant as fans grappled with the unexpected news. Pomo addressed her graduation in an emotional live stream, determined to make the most out of her remaining two weeks. Uh, to everybody, <laughs> I will be graduating Niji Sanji EN on January 19th 20th, 2024. I'm leaving to pursue other creative avenues. Yeah, she's a free but no. My next adventure will lead me to it's more Probably because Niji Sanji literally hit um, the fan, I'm man. Here in yeah. And everyone that I've met, including of course all of you guys. I don't regret joining Niji Sanji. And I'm happy yeah, to I heard about it. Sanji, Ian's first wave lazulite. I've been in collab cafes, featured in karaoke places in Japan, performed on stage, had artists I love and admire draw me. I was made into a marketable marketable plushie <laughs> and was even displayed in my beloved Akiba for the world to see. Oh. The experiences have been amazing. The ones I'll never forget for the rest of my life. And I hope every now yeah, and then... Yeah, Niji if you Sanji is so me, bad. You'll think of me. Or if you go to Akihabara, you'll think of me. 
Nor if you listen to a song, I have the sudden urge to start yelling, Jinzo, fire, 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 fire. <laughs> You'll remember how, how much energy we had together. Remember to be your most genuine self. And I can sincerely never thank you all enough for what you've done for me. So I'll do my best to keep having fun and bringing smiles to your faces till my last stream goes offline. There's a bit of time left, so let's make the most of it. Love. Regarding companies, I wouldn't... Personally, I would never join a company. OBS is currently active. All stream recordings will be shut down. Are you sure you want to wish to exit? No, I don't want to close the stream. What the fuck? Um... Regarding companies... Sorry, I'm just leaning back. I should probably move the phone down a bit so the tracking is better. Um, the only company, personally, I would ever join is We Showed You. From anything else, no thank you. No fucking thank you. No matter how much fame they could give me or anything, no thanks. I don't want my IP to be owned by anyone else. I want to be... No face, no, no one. No one. Because they own the character. The only one would be V Chojo, literally. The only one I would be considering is V Chojo because V Chojo is fucking amazing. Boom. <laughs> Her final stream was a bittersweet celebration filled with laughter, heartfelt moments, and appearances from fellow Niji Sanchi EN members. Though she bid farewell, Pomo left behind a lasting legacy of creativity passion and a strong sense of community within the VTubing scene. Pomo's then decision to release all of her membership streams after her departure added another layer to the story. Michojo is just as dark as Nietzsche. No, it isn't. It, it's not at all. It, at least not nowadays anymore. Like Plastic is saying, like, maybe there used to be, I don't know, but nowadays uh, Michojo is actually amazing. They actually let their talents do whatever the fuck they want to. They have full freedom, they can talk about whatever the fuck they want to, they can collab with whoever they want to, they just help them out. Vichojo is, is a good company. One particular emotional clip went viral where she alluded to management passing on a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. How do I put it? There was a really big opportunity that was offered to me. And I get why it wasn't accepted, but it's really frustrating. Further fueling speculation and leaving a lingering sense of mystery surrounding her reasons for leaving. Following her departure from Niji Sanji, Midmaid entered a period of introspection and uncertainty. Throughout her several month hiatus, her tweets reflected a deep internal conflict, hinting at her struggles to determine her future within the VTubing world. Yet, a life-changing trip to Japan played a pivotal role in reigniting her passion. During this journey, she experienced the joy of reuniting with close friends like Takanashi Yay. Kiara, the Fuamoku twins, and Matara. The warmth <laughs> of their bond became a comforting reminder of the friendships she had forged within the VTuber world. Have a good stream, thank you! I actually just talked to Pomu today, I thought you would like to hear that. Talking to Pomu deeply, deeply. I think she's doing well. Yeah, yeah, I'm still hoping, I'm still hoping she'll meet up with me sometime. Now that she's a ghost. Most importantly, uh -huh. she connected with someone she deeply admires, her <laughs> Kamiyoshi. This pivotal encounter provided encouragement and clarity, ultimately solidifying that was a his decision to return to streaming. Inspired to take a new path, she embraced her original identity as the indie VTuber she first started as. <laughs> and there's Madara. <laughs> <laughs> the VTuber community erupted in celebration when beloved ghost maid Mint Phantom made her spirited return. Now independent again, she exudes determination and joy instead of uncertainty and fear. Her bond with friends like Matara deepened, leading to the exciting podcast collaboration that brought oh her back God, into the spotlight. Oh my God, that one man! I, uh, uh, I three years ago today, actually. And so now I'm back, but I went to heaven and, um, I don't know, I think, I think I'm more 
more suited to being a ghost. And even guest appearances from other VTubers. Mint also debuted a revamped model rig generously funded by Matara. Yeah, you got me this rigging just for April Fools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Surprise! I, I, I hope you have fun with it. I'm excited. I just wanted you to, you know, put your best foot forward and have fun and be in your best ghost body. The reason for the rigging, to be completely honest with you, I wasn't sure if her old rigging was going to work. I also didn't know how good her old rigging was. But does she so look like I an old trippy? Is that all right? I'll just buy you Christmas present. While Mint has made it clear she won't be joining V Shoujo, she has expressed a desire to stay as long as fans continue to support her podcast. Is MI coming back permanently? Is this like. Is this it? Is this. Is this the finale, the final return of Mint Phantom? And the simple answer is truly. I don't know. <laughs> um. I don't know, but as long as the podcast is going, I'll be around. Shortly after, she Aww. also announced an exciting Ofkai appearance alongside Matara. Her subscriber I count on her podcast. Mint Phantom account skyrocketing, with new fans and old fans alike flocking to support her. So much so that she finally was able to receive her long-awaited silver play button. A reward she was unable to receive physically with Niji Sanji, regardless of her reaching this very significant milestone. <laughs> Mint's journey hasn't been without hurdles. Sadly, some I hope negativity one day I'll be able to get one too. Niji Sanji fans with the occasional hateful super chat, which is crazy as Mint has proven countless times that she's always supported her friends. Oh, I hate full spot chats. What the fuck? Even showcasing worry during the tumultuous time that they were going through after her departure from the entertainment mogul. Um, Israfel, thank you. Sometimes I get, um, what's the word? I get nervous seeing like offline donations. I do appreciate them very much, uh, but I get nervous because sometimes it's like, a hate message. <laughs> what the fuck? So, Why I'm do just, people do if that? If I have my OBS open and I hear that I get a donation, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> However, this hasn't deterred Mint. She has stayed focused and determined to proving her resilience. Offline donations, Most yeah. Would never happen to me, would it? She's <laughs> radiating happiness as she streams as her truest self. Happy ending! Further demonstrated by the highly anticipated cover of Bustin by Neil Sisierega. Sisierega. By Neil Sisierega. Happy a ending! Project that took months of Dora and Finana Ryugu, Homo's re. Homo's. Okay. 